Today, we presented the data from the Early Childhood Workforce Survey. We did this study for two major reasons. We wanted to be able to characterize the early childhood workforce, understand better what are the conditions of their work, who are they, what is it like to be an early childhood teacher and caregiver. We also wanted to have an empirical baseline. We wanted to know where we are starting. And this survey gave us the information we needed for that purpose. It's going to take work and it's going to take resources um, to change the value and respect that teachers earn in this world of early childhood. If we make the difference when they're young, we make the difference for their whole life. We're finding it's a huge return on investment. If we start early, it's a necessary return for Nebraska, and it makes better citizens, business leaders, workers, employees, executives, professionals, you name it, it all starts with early childhood development. I think we're seeing from the studies that are put out that we have some issues that need to be addressed in our state. Our kids are our most precious assets. We need to put the same emphasis on growing brains that we do agriculture. I'm excited about making long-term investments. It's not just having a daycare center, it's that quality daycare center. And we want to make sure that we develop a curriculum, we take a look at the workforce. I think a lot of home providers don't look at themselves as teachers. They don't look at themselves as glorified babysitters, but that's what people think. Right. And that's the, the image and, and respect you're fighting with mm -hmm. people to try to gain. I'll give you three conclusions. First, support. The workforce needs support in order to be supportive of children. Second, wages and working conditions must be addressed. Teachers need livable wages, employment-sponsored benefits in order to care for themselves and their families and to avoid reliance on public assistance and on second jobs. And finally, the path forward. We have to be systematic in our efforts and we have to be sustained. There are no silver bullets there are absolutely no simple solutions or we wouldn't be looking at this set of data yet again. So we have to empower these community leaders across the state to understand this message, to hear this message, because if that group can roll in the same direction and speak with one voice, that's a very powerful piece of infrastructure in the state of Nebraska. And if it is aligned with the early childhood world, we might actually begin to see that needle move a little bit and see some of that support that we need to have in the early childhood world. My dream is coming true because they're listening. Instead of talking at us, they're talking to us. This is real. These are the challenges. And with the support, we could take this to another level.